Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a skincare routine. I've been at work all day today since 9am and it's now quarter past seven. So this makeup has been on far too many hours and I really need to get it off. So the routine I'm going to show you today is just the products that I use every day and I love and would highly recommend. I would pay particular attention to my evening skincare routine just because you know you've got to make sure you've got all your makeup off before you go to bed and your pores aren't going to get clogged. You also need to remove any excess oils that have built up throughout the day which may also clog the pores and you don't want to wake up with spots. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Alexa? Later. Alexa's trying to join in the video, so she just needs to be quiet. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to turn her off. Okay, so just before I start this video, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all the people that have supported me so far in my other videos. You've been so lovely with your comments and you've really helped me with new ideas for my new videos. I had so many comments asking for me to do the skincare routine, so that's what I wanted to do for you guys. I'm going on holiday next week, so hopefully I'll be able to do a couple of videos there, which will be a bit of a change of background. Okay, I'm going to start rambling now, so this makeup really needs to get off my face. It's been on so many hours, so here we go. Okay, so the first step to get the bulk of the makeup off is a product from Estee Lauder called the Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Balm. It comes in this balm here. So basically, just grab a little bit, warm it up in the hands, and you literally have to put it all over the face. You can go all over the eyes with this, it doesn't hurt. It basically just turns into an oil, which dissolves all of the makeup and it's amazing, especially if you use the Estee Lauder double wear as I do and you'll know how long wearing it is and how tough it is to get off. Finding a product that gets that off easily is always a bonus and I found this one is really good. Okay, so when you massage that oil in, you have to add water to it and it actually turns into a milk, which helps to dissolve the product even more and helps to wash the oil off. This is just amazing, I'll show you how it just takes most of the makeup off already and that is only stage one. Okay, so my next stage is to use the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. So what this one does, it basically just makes sure you've got absolutely nothing left on the skin. It really helps just to take any of the oil off from the cleansing balm as well, if there's any left. So you just have to use a cotton pad and the micellar water and just go in circular motions all over the face. Still makeup. Okay, now I've done the micellar water and the majority of the foundation is off. I'm just gonna do this face mask. Now this step isn't essential and you're not meant to do it every single night. About once a week, just to make sure you purify the skin and you've taken any excess grossness off. This is amazing. So this is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. So I'll just show you how I apply this one. So it's just onto a clean skin. I do use a brush just because I don't want to get my fingers in it and that. So you literally paint it on. And this one does go a really long way. So what I mean by that is that you don't have to use a really thick layer. So when I was buying this, the lady in the shop told me, if you use a thick layer, it's not gonna do any different from if you just use a thin layer. It's not gonna go any deeper or work any better. It's just, you're just gonna waste your product. So even though you can still see through the skin, it's gonna have the same effect. Okay, and as you can see, as the mask starts to dry, it gets lighter. Once the whole face is light, you're ready to wash it off. Yeah, so you only have to leave it on about 10 minutes and it should be completely dry. This mask is really good for just purifying the skin, really getting into the pores, and when it dries, it's actually really gross, but you can see every single pore, so you know that it is going deep, and then it's gonna get right into the pores and make sure they're not clogged. Get out, I'm filming. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is it going? Yes! Okay, so now my 10 minutes is up. As you can see, it's a lighter colour, which means it's all dried. Okay, so when you wash that off, just dry the skin again. 
So I'm just going to start up with my Advanced Night Repair Serum. You can use it at any age and whatever your skin type. So I'm just going to dot five dots on the hand, rub it together, warm it up a little bit and I'm just going to start in the middle, massage it into the skin. So basically what this serum does is when you're asleep your skin has natural renewal so it's going to repair itself. This serum helps that process to speed up. If you've had a rubbish night's sleep your skin is going to look like it's had a rubbish night's sleep too. If you had the serum on before you go to bed your skin is not going to be affected and it'll just look normal, healthy, radiant and no one will know if you've had a good night's sleep or not. I am just excessive and I do use another serum. This one here is also by Estee Lauder, it's called Idealist, I don't know if you can see that one very well. And this one is for the minimising of pores. So again, I just take a little bit of this one, warm it up in the fingers, and I just place this one in the centre of the face where the pores mostly are, or the bigger pores anyway. You know, people get them on the T-zone, just around the nose, on the chin. Okay, so almost done. It's just one product left, which is my moisturizer. So this one here is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Light. The Revitalizing Supreme is Estee Lauder's best-selling moisturizer. It is known for its anti-aging benefits, but I personally don't use it for that, obviously I'm 21. Touch wood, my skin's quite good on the aging front. I actually use it because it gives a lovely radiance to the skin. It's really, really soft and I feel that it just doesn't clog the pores. Because I am spot prone or have got better within the last few years, but I used to be, so I'm always really conscious of that. I have tried the original Revitalizer Supreme, not the light one. That one is too rich for me and that one is for the more mature lady and she needs maybe a bit more moisture. This one is the light version, so it's, as the name says, much lighter, not as heavy and it won't clog the pores. I'm just gonna take a little bit again. Same thing, warm it up in the hands. Start in the center of the face and just pop it all over the skin. Oh, it just smells so good. Okay guys, so that is my skin routine done. And yes, I do that every single night, minus the Glam Glow face mask. Do that once a week, not every night, otherwise you'll dry your skin out. All of the other products are my go-to products. I found that they're perfect for me. They work for my skin really well, and I've seen the benefits within it. So at the moment, yes, I am quite happy with my skin. With anyone, it does go up and down. I have good days, bad days. So honestly, don't worry if you're not happy with your skin at the moment. You will improve and you just have to be patient. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, put your comments below. Subscribe, you know what to do. So I'll see you in my next video when I'm on holiday. I am so excited and definitely need the break. So see you soon.